you guys look at the crazy contraption Mike Guyver is hooking up today. Can you even imagine what this is for? You'll never Can get you? it. Here's your hint. Hint, hint. Hey. Oh, you just crashed the mouse trap. Yeah, think, think Arch Doorway. If you think Arch Doorway, you'll probably get this. You'll you get are this. out of your mind. Nobody is going to get this just by thinking Arch Doorway unless they're like a builder like you. All you builders out there, think Arch Doorway. <laughs> the rest of you, just keep watching. What is he doing? Obviously lost his mind. I couldn't agree more. It's like I said it myself. He's lost his marbles. You're distracting a master at work. Yeah, the master of disaster. Yeah, that's right. Mike's crazy one-time gig. There. Oh now he's gonna make gosh. a little hole at this side. There. He's just playing with his tools now. Obviously he's off his little rocker. Yeah. Seems small, huh? It does, huh? But it's not. We're just creating the form for this to, and we can clamp to these things. And it doesn't have to be perfect, but what it does is it, it puts the wood in a very close shape to that so that once it's dry, we can kind of just push, push it, up. it up into the positions, but we're not having to force a bend into it or anything. Yeah. Well, that was pretty genius how you drew the half circle in the same circumference as our door. <laughs> Stay in school, kids. <laughs> Stay in school. Because <laughs> that's exactly how that just happened. <laughs> I just did some school. You just created wood hinge. Wood hinge, that's right. <laughs> We need some, call the, if you want to, if you can get the druids out here. Right. And then we can go ahead and finish this thing. Hang on, I got them on speed dial. Perfect. Just take Perfect. me a sec. So hopefully if this works, we're going to see a whole bunch of steam coming out of here. I have a feeling, though, that this might start doing the... Really? <laughs> we'll see. Not sure. Most people do this with a metal pipe. I didn't have any metal pipe for this, so we're just winging How it. How long do we have to steam it for? I don't know. Maybe we should look up some guidelines. Okay. It's a long time to look up some guidelines. Is it still going? It is. I don't know if it's enough steam or not, but I think it'll work. It's such a small piece of wood. You can kind of see it coming out of there. I expected it to just be like pouring out. I don't think that uh, heating element's enough to get it rolling boil. The idea is to get it out of there onto the form here like put it on this edge clamp it here and then bring it all the way over here clamp it here and then we'll get the second one put it right above it and do the same thing and let it sit and then we'll let it dry like maybe overnight or something we're just going to take it out first oh. want it to be as hot as it can be okay move your move your camera too
Oh, it didn't work right. at all. It wasn't steamed up. All right, so what's the next way to do it? We're gonna have to do it in the house on the stove where we actually have enough heat to create steam. Okay, now I am. <laughs> um. oh, let's take this out. All right. Notice any difference? Maybe. Yeah. I don't believe in this. Don't? No. I think it's gonna break again. Well, I hate you! <laughs> I didn't say I wanted it to break again. Guess who's wrong? Push it down to the table. You are. Look at that, it worked. That's one. Got one more to do. That works. Very cool. All right, we just gotta let that dry for a while. And then we'll be able to put this into the- uh, Arch doorway. Into the arch doorway. And uh, yeah, that'll work. Awesome. Can't believe you did that. Pretty happy about that. I bet. Can you hold it for me? Sure. There's one, exactly what I was going to say. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so now we need pieces to come down here, clear these. So we need some more cut pieces of wood. That worked great. That's pretty good, huh? I love it. So oh, it's going to be 39 on the head right there. Nice. Uh, okay, we're going to take the pencil, make the notch out so in this bad boy. And we're going to have to trim off some off the top of this just a little bit. You're notching it out to go around our cool, <laughs> unique metal trim. <laughs> metal, air quotes. Yeah, faux metal. Oh our yeah, there you go, faux metal, faux metal trim. Faux metal. That's what I meant to say. Mm -hmm. Normally you do it with a chisel. I just didn't have one. Obviously you can't find it. <laughs> I can't believe there's that this is a normally occurring thing. It's so yeah. cool. <gasps> oh no. That'll be alright. Nice. Has something to close against. I like that. Yeah, pretty cool.
marking where the yeah. faux trim is. Wait, what did you call it? Faux metal. Faux metal, faux metal trim. Faux metal jacket. <laughs> well, that was exciting. Yeah. Look at that. That is better. It is much better. Wow. Okay. It sounds like a door when it closes now. Right? A choke. Before it had it a... It didn't. <laughs> yeah, it just wiggled. Yeah. It makes a definitive door slam now. Yep. So, I've got to run some... A little bit of sandpaper over it. Just these sharp edges here. Oh yeah. And then we can throw some sand at it if you want. Cool. What are you doing right now? Oh, um, I'm just tucking felt in the tiny little crevices that the wood could not possibly fit into. Right. So they're trying to take the light out between the yeah, just the trim and the arch. Yeah, and there's only a couple of places, so cool. This was the quick fix we came up with. Yeah, I like it. And then when we hit it with a dark stain, you probably won't tell. Oh yeah, you won't notice anything at all. Just a slight pitch. <laughs> Very exciting. It's got poly, huh? Um, I guess. You don't remember pulling it? No. Oh, we're going to need a Q-tip for this. I can see right now. Holy. Good thing I have some right here. How did you do that? I know, I'm amazing, right? That's pretty amazing. <laughs> there was one in the drawer. There's a couple in the drawer from something we were doing earlier. This has been polyed. Sure look like it's taking stain pretty well right now. <laughs> See? It's the little details. It's the little deets that make the big diff. This Q-tip works great for getting in the crevices. Man, it like erased the seam of this being two pieces of wood. Yeah. It just looks like one now. They are joined together as one in holy matrimony. Yes. Under this arch, from this day forward, let it be known to all. Underneath the arch, it turned into a march. The last thing that you said was, shut this off. Look at that. It is flawless. That is better. Much better. Now it looks like a real door. I know, and now you could go to the bathroom with some privacy. Well, I mean, other than the window, obviously. But when that gets done, then you could go to the bathroom with some privacy. Very nice, my honey. Nice work. I love, love it. it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Jinx, you show me a Coke. Coke. <laughs> it's a good one. It is a good one. <laughs> it sure is. I grew up in Santa Cruz, California, and if I wasn't surfing, I was riding a skateboard. I wanted to get a custom skateboard made for Bussin' McBussface, and I approached a follower on 
Instagram named Sky Pilot Longboards. And he was able to make me this skateboard. And I just wanted to give a shout out to him because he did such a great job. And I'm just so stoked on how well it turned out. And I'm looking forward to putting some miles on this bad boy. If you're interested in getting a custom skateboard for yourself, I put a link to his shop down in the description. Thanks Mike for this awesome skateboard.